Lao Li Shi actually got into the sport of diving by mistake. She would go to her brother's practices with her mother and become restless. So while looking for something to do, she found a trampoline. The amateur sports school's coach, Zhang Guansheng, noticed the little girl's coordination and boldness. So in 1995, Lao Li Shi, the preschooler, became a member of the Qigong Diving School of Amateur Sports Schools. In 2002, Lao Li Shi debuted on the international scene, winning the 10-meter platform on the FINA Grand Prix circuit and at the Asian Games. She continued winning in 2003, capturing gold and silver medals at the FINA World Championships in Spain. The pinnacle of Lao Li Shi's career came at the 2004 Athens Olympic Games, where she and teammate Li Ting dove their way to Olympic gold in the 10-meter synchronized diving event. In the individual 10-meter event, she won the silver medal. Li Shi's hometown of Zhongchang City was so proud of her that the city built a 12.8-meter diving goddess sculpture, commemorating Lao Li Shi's Olympic gold medal performance. In Athens, Li Shi had reached the highest stage, and although it was all that she has dreamed it would be, she quickly left the spotlight and the national team due to injuries and having a desire to pursue her education. In April of 2010, Lao Li Shi officially retired from diving. Two months later, she graduated from Zhongshan University and started looking for a job. It was a year before she found work in a government office. After two years, she quit her secure position as she believed life should be more colorful and decided to gamble on her entrepreneurial possibilities. She established an online e-store on Taobao, China's version of eBay, and began selling wood bracelets. Her store has been a runaway success. And on September 19, 2014, Lao Li Shi was invited by Jack Ma to be one of the opening bell ringers as China's e-commerce giant Alibaba Group began to sell public shares on the New York Stock Exchange. Lao Li Shi, Honor Diver, China.